Hello all and welcome back to the channel. We are still in the middle of the breeding season and a lot is going on so I'm really looking forward to telling you about it but also to share with you some of the more bad things that's also going on. Of course most of the time we are going to look in the big every outdoor but we are also going to take a look indoor to see what's going on and to take a look in the chicken every with the budgies and the cockatoos. The last few days we've had some rain and uh, the temperature is roughly 20 degrees during day and uh, 10 to uh, 12 degrees in during the night. I hope you will enjoy the video and as always please let me know if you have any comments or questions, I would love to answer them. Even though many of the birds outdoor have attempted to breed, I've actually had some problems with the infertile eggs. I don't know the reason for this problem but it's uh, obviously a problem because it's cross uh, many species and uh, many many eggs so perhaps some of the birds simply began to breed too soon and hopefully this will become uh, better as the season progresses i don't know if the eggs are fertile but at least the white cheek teracus are still on eggs so it's very exciting they will hatch within uh, 10 days roughly and perhaps you remember my odd couple between a pig and robin and a white eye managed to rear the chick very successfully but it seems that the chick is actually a true uh, pig and robin and not a crossbreed, but a very uh, nice little chick nevertheless. Each evening they cuddle up the pig and robin, the chick and the white eye. It looks very cozy. To the right in this picture, there's a pair of uh, red-headed finches. I have two pairs and they both tried to breed, but either they left the, the chicks very young they left the eggs. In one case, the eggs were simply infertile. But luckily, both pairs keep uh, trying, so hopefully they will succeed later this year as they did last year. And if we go indoor for a short time, you can see that it's actually going quite well indoor. I still have a lot of birds there waiting to be sold, but uh, also a lot of breeding pairs. Most of my buddies are outdoor with the chickens, but um, one pair is indoor and uh, they are in their second clutch right now with four chicks. And it's very fun to be able to watch them so closely as we are able to do when they're indoor. So it's very fun both for me and the kids to see how the chicks grow very rapidly each day. I've been very lucky to get a bunch of canary bird chicks already. And now both my two pairs of uh, yellow canary birds and my red mosaic canary bird pair is breeding again. So uh, many more chicks to come. My mosaic canary birds uh, are the worst to rear the chicks. Actually, they only manage to rear one chick in each litter. But uh, the yellow ones are much better and can rear up to four chicks. But you never know, perhaps the mosaic canary birds just needs to learn it and will pick it up as they go along. My indoor pair of red crested cardinals are still very good breeders. They keep going uh, non-stop. Now they have uh, two chicks growing rapidly each day. And uh, this time I'll remember to keep them with their parents for a longer period of time before I separate them. Of course, depending on that the parents won't uh, chase the chicks. Recently, I decided to move a pair of the greater blue-eared starling indoor. I kept looking in different nests, but uh, it seemed they were too disturbed by the other birds to uh, actually uh, begin building. But as soon as they went indoor, they began to build. So now they stuffed the box with a lot of grass and uh, hopefully we'll see some eggs very soon as well. Very interesting. And back outdoor again, I have this uh, wonderful pair of ultramarine crossbeaks. They had one attempt on eggs, I guess, previously, but uh, I never found it. Uh, but now I see the female and the male again uh, more during the day. So I don't think they're doing anything right now, but hopefully they will come again. Last year, the male was one of the latest uh, of the species to begin to sing and making courtship. So uh, I think their breeding season will continue for several months. Both adult birds look wonderful and they look like they are really thriving. And if we take a short look at the chicken aviary, the cockatoos are enjoying the summer but not doing anything else. They will wait till next year or the year after. And the budgies are all in nests, so a lot of chicks on the way. During summertime, I feed a lot of grass from the lawn and all birds come down to ground to uh, participate in the feast. And back to the big aviary again, my northern cardinals, red cardinals, uh, one of the species that have several problems with uh, infertile eggs. 
they were presently on their third attempt. I just removed the eggs because they were all blank. Last year I had uh, chicks in each attempt from the red cardinals, but this year is a new female, so um, I don't know what's going on, but uh, hopefully they will improve later this year. The zebra finches are usually some of the easiest birds to breed, but they caused me some headaches as well this year because they didn't even lay any eggs. But finally they built a nest and uh, they actually had three chicks. Uh, only one is back, unfortunately. And uh, you know, when uh, good things come, some bad things will come as well. And yesterday I found out the, the female zebra finch had escaped the aviary and a pair of wax bills did too. So the girls and I took on the roles as Sherlock Holmes and looked all the way around the aviary and luckily we found a hole and stopped it. So hopefully no further birds will escape and hopefully I'll succeed in catching the Seprophets female. It doesn't seem to be a new hole but a old hole from the building of the aviary but I think that previously it has been stopped by plants perhaps and now the plants disappeared and the birds could get out. I hope no other birds escaped, but I don't know yet, so I need to take a closer look the next days to see if any wrong birds are outside of the area. Last year, small finches and waxbill disappeared as well, so perhaps they went out the same hole. Um, but now it's found, so that's a good thing. And the pig and robins, uh, besides the chick I already told you about, I know one of the pair have chicks uh, another place. I haven't found them yet, but I can see they are feeding somewhere, so fingers crossed on those as well. The first time breed for me this year is the owl finches or the double barred finches. A few days ago, a chick from one of the nests fledged. Uh, I don't know if it's the only chick from that attempt, but uh, so far I only saw one chick. Both parent birds keep following it very closely around all day, so it's very nice to look at. I have another pair of owl finches as well, and it seems they are on X in the other part of the aviary. I have several Gouldian finches in the aviary as well. They have made some attempts uh, so far in fertile eggs. And uh, right now they are trying again. But then yesterday I found a dead female. And I think she was the one with the eggs right now. So probably the male will leave them. Uh, I had some more female Gouldians inside. So uh, I took two more outdoor, uh, so hopefully they can pair up and they will make some more attempts very soon. My long-tailed finches uh, looks very good and they have been building several places in the area, but more than that, I don't know if they have eggs or anything more at the moment. My pairs of uh, Senegal white eyes have been relaxing so far, but uh, Last week, they, or at least one of the pairs, began to defend a site in the Avery. So I think they are building a territory right now, which may lead to a breeding attempt. So fingers crossed on those as well. This is one of my two village weaver males. They are building on nests uh, most of the time during the day. And right now, I think there's a chick in one of the nests, uh, which I'll show you later on. My pair of black siskins made courtship previously this year. They seem more relaxed right now, but uh, yesterday I found a nest with uh, two blue eggs. So perhaps, I don't know, it could be from them. Uh, fingers crossed. If any of you guys knows uh, which color the eggs should have, please let me know. Unfortunately, I lost my female of all uh, previously in the spring. But uh, I still have the male and he looks good. But he spends way too much time in the trees, not sleeping, but looking very fresh and looking around. I found out on one of the videos that it's the Luzon pigeons, the Luzon greeting hearts, that's chasing him. So hopefully that will go on very soon. Otherwise I need to find a solution. I hope I can keep him and find a female for him as well, because the Wulul is a fascinating bird to have in the aviary. And on the bleeding hearts, it's actually the first time ever I've seen them chase any other species. In my last video update, I showed you a nest I presumed to be from the red-throated parrot finches. I was correct, and right now they are feeding four big chicks, uh, roughly uh, one week to ten days old. Another species I'm really enjoying 
is the major goldfinches. My male is singing wonderfully uh, several times during the day. And one of the females is the next again. The first attempt, uh, we're all infertile. For now, she has uh, these three eggs and she's very steady on them. So fingers crossed that they will be fertile this time. In several nests and nest boxes throughout the aviary, I see building material and eggs like in this nest. I don't know which species they belong to. And that's one of the fun things in a big aviary like this. Simply you cannot have control with everything. You cannot know what's going on in every part of the aviary. And sometimes you just have to wait and see. And for me, that's some of the relaxing parts about having birds in an every like this. I'm quite sure that the breeding results could be much higher if I had birds in a single pair every. But again, I like to see them in these big conditions. They thrive, they fooling around in flocks of different kinds of birds are thriving. Then uh, that's the most important for me. And I really just enjoy looking at them. Of course, the goal is uh, to see them rear chicks, and I do a huge effort to achieve this. So hopefully more and more chicks will come. As I said previously, I think one of my pairs of village weavers have uh, at least one chick in one of the nests right now. I see the female go in and out and uh, try to hide herself each time I come near the aviary. But the best sign of chicks I saw was that I noticed uh, bird droppings below the nest, uh, down on the earth here. I'll try to find them to show them. So uh, something is going on inside that nest and uh, hopefully it's at least one chick. And I think it will uh, fledge within one week. So hopefully it will choose a day without too much rain. And actually I could just keep on going, telling you about all the birds breeding and building. And here we have another nest uh, with new eggs each day. I don't know uh, which species it belongs to, so I'll just have to wait and see. Also the star finches have chicks right now, and the diamond firetail finches are building a new nest these days. So a lot is going on all the time. It's a wonder to take part in, and I'm really happy I can share it all with you. Now I'll leave you with the birds for the rest of the video so you can enjoy them without me speaking. So you can enjoy all the wonderful chirping and the bird song. It's really summertime. I hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Bye bye.